Yeah, so hi everybody, my name's Thomas. Um, I'm uh, one of your guys' fellow UCLA graduate students here, um, and I live at the Rose Apartments. And uh, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make lob or larb. And basically what it is, is um, it's like a Southeast Asian meat salad uh, dish. And yeah, I, uh, I think it's pretty good. And I, and uh, yeah, I think it tastes pretty good. So that's why I'm sharing it with you guys today. Um, yeah. So the first things first is that um, uh, what I recommend everybody do is also have open the, the recipe doc, um, just in case you guys wanted to reference some of the, uh, the portions or, or the ingredients you know, in case you guys uh, get lost along the way. So that's what I recommend. Um, also, if you guys haven't taken out your ingredients yet, have it, you know, take it out, put it all on your counter or wherever um, you, know, you guys want to put it because uh, we're going to prep it first. And then um, this should take no longer than 30 minutes, but I'm gonna go a little extra slow today, just um, you know, in case this is your first time making it, I wanna make sure that everybody has a chance to, you know, um, you know catch up. Um, yeah, and yeah, one more thing is you guys should have received a packet of ingredients, not all of them. Um, you guys were supposed to um, get, you know, um, either some sort of ground meat um, or tofu, uh, some lime or lime juice, um, some sort of lettuce, and uh, chili flakes if you guys want something spicy. But um, everything else we should have provided, so there should have been a packet. Um, nobody has any problems with that, right? Everybody has this stuff? Cool. If you guys don't, I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I can't deliver it. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, so cool, cool. So, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have our ingredients set out and we're going to do some prep work before we start cooking. So uh, for the packet, everything in there is not pre-washed. So what we're going to first do is we're going to wash and then uh, get some of those things ready. So, um, you know, take out a colander or something. Um, what I would start is, what I would say is let's start by rinsing everything um, and getting them clean and then we'll start the next step. So I'm going to move over to my kitchen now. All right. Unfortunately, I don't have a very big kitchen here at our apartment, so you guys are going to have to see it at a weird angle, but, um, you know, so I just kind of wanted to go over all the ingredients that we should have. Um, I think I put everything in correctly, but, you know, again, let me know if you have a problem. Um, so let's, let's go over uh, what we should have, right? So um, you should, guys should have some sort of ground meat. Um, I'm using uh, ground pork today. Uh, but you guys, again, feel free to use whatever type of uh, meat or tofu you guys like. Um, you guys should also have gotten a shallot, right? Um, fish sauce. I, I put it in a packet for you guys or in a, in a container for you guys, but fish sauce. Oh, one thing is fish sauce is actually made from fish. So if you're a vegetarian, um, yeah, don't use it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but so I don't really know. I don't have a substitute for fish sauce as part of the fish recipe, but uh, what I would recommend is if you guys can't eat fish for some reason, um, just, you know, either use some sort of soy sauce or some salt and pepper, it would be fine. Um, you guys should have a lime or some lime juice. Um, you guys will have uh, some toasted round uh, rice. Um, I'm gonna have some chili flakes, but you guys can use, you know, whatever you guys like. Um, yeah. And then uh, we're gonna go on to some of our other ingredients. Uh, so I have cilantro here, all right? Um, you know, some people don't like cilantro. Um, so, you know, you can substitute it or leave it out, you know? Um, I have some green onion here. And then I have a bunch of uh, spearmint here. And then the last ingredient that uh, we have is just some, it's called culantro or sawtooth coriander. Um, you know, it's just, it's just another type of herb, all right? Cool. So everybody has everything, right? As I mentioned before, um, you know, everybody, uh, if you guys haven't already, just, uh, you know, wash your herbs and stuff. They're not pre-washed. So um, just rinse it a little bit. I've already uh, rinsed mine. So I'll be waiting here. Um, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to ask me. Every packet is, uh, has two servings. So if you guys signed up for, you know, four servings or five servings or whatever, you're going to have more packets. Um, so just know that uh, the recipe is for two servings. So if you follow the recipe, um, basically go by packet. Um, 
Another thing is if, you know, I think I saw some people sign up for as much as six servings or five people or five servings. Uh, I do recommend breaking that into like two or three batches because if you cook too much at the same time, uh, you, you might end up like boiling or like not really cooking correctly. So, um, you know, just split it into two batches or something like that. So I'm gonna wait maybe like a couple minutes for you guys to um, prepare or wash your vegetables. And, um, you know, and then uh, once most people are ready, then I'll go on to uh, how we're gonna prep it. All right, um, don't worry, I'm gonna keep going pretty slow, but I'm gonna move on to the next step. If you guys still have questions, again, just feel free to say, uh, you know, say something. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to um, prepare our shallots. So what we want to do is we want to first, you know, peel it and remove the, you know, the outside. Um, but what we want to do is we want to cut it really thin. Uh, the reason why we want to slice it very thin is because we want to, um, we're not going to cook it directly. We're going to cook it with some residual heat. So if it's too thick, it might be too strong. So try to cut it as thin as you guys can. So you kind of want it like uh, pretty thin. All right, all right. Once you guys have that sliced up, uh, we're gonna move on to the next one. We're gonna take some green onions and we're just gonna, you know, uh, do some. We're just gonna chop it up. We're gonna use the whole thing. So, um, you know, just cut it like pretty thinly. Uh, can you guys see that? So just pretty thin. Could you show the um, shallots one more time or the onions? Like, yeah. Could you chop them? They're you know, you just pretty much want it as thin as you can. Okay, thank um, you. The reason, yeah. If you dice your shallots on accident, um, maybe just dice it a little bit more just because uh, you don't want it too big. That's the main point. Because if it's too big, then you don't, unless you don't mind eating like raw shallots, um, you just kind of want it smaller. So uh, what I have next is I have my cilantro. Um, what I'm going to basically do is, um, I'm just going to, you know, top it up, a uh, rough chop. Um, if yours is a little bit too stemmy, feel free to remove the stem, but I generally don't take the stems off. So what you basically want to do is, um, just, uh, chop them up and, you know, have them, um, you know, just place on the side. Um, Cause what we're gonna do is once we have them all prepared, we're gonna, you know, add them in one by one. Um, yeah, so we're prepping everything first and then uh, we're gonna do the cooking last. So that's why we're just, you know, getting everything ready. Cool. So um, for the next one, I'm gonna prepare the mint. So for the mint, I would remove it off the stem. So, you know, I just, you know, pluck the leaves off and then, um, you know, once you pluck out all the leaves, we're going to do a rough chop on the leaves and I would leave the stem off. If you guys see something like that's wilted or crushed or, or bruised, feel free to just, you know, pluck it off. You know, you only want to take the good ones. So once you have enough um, leaves from your mint, just give it a rough chop. So if you like, um, if you, if the thing is looking a little kind of like, um, I don't know what's the right word, if it's like a little older, 
and a tougher, then yeah, feel free to cut off a little bit. Um, but if it's still kind of tender, you know, you, it doesn't hurt to leave it on. And um, like, like I said earlier, if, you know, if you're looking, if you see a kind of janky piece, feel free to just remove it, you know? Um, I try to give you guys more than you guys need. I think the recipe only calls for two to three leaves. And I, I try to give you guys a handful. So hopefully you guys have enough good ones in there. So yeah, for the culantro, we're basically gonna do the same thing. Um, we're gonna just do, give it a rough chop. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to point out for the culantro. So um, it's also known as sawtooth coriander. So if you feel the edges of the leaf, um, if the leaf is a little older, it's gonna be a little bit spikier. So if, if you think it's too spiky, just take it, you know? Um, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't be painful to eat. It should be like, you know. And the, if you guys have lime juice, feel free to use lime juice. I have a lime. Um, you're only going to need about two tablespoons of it. And if you want to eyeball it, one lime is generally uh, about two tablespoons of juice. So I'm just going to cut it in half. All right, guys, that should be um, all the prepper we need for our um, herbs and stuff like that. So um, when people are done, just, you know, say another done. And then once enough people are done, we'll move on to the next part. I'm, today I'm using ground pork, which is a little bit fattier, so I don't need to add any oil. But if you're using something leaner like, you know, a chicken or beef or even tofu, yeah, I would add a little bit of oil to the skillet. I would just want to throw a quick disclaimer. So I'm not Southeast Asian. So if anybody uh, is and they can tell that I'm, you know, this isn't authentic, I'm not claiming that this is an authentic dish. <laughs> I'm just trying, you know, it's just a recipe that I learned and I think it's pretty good. So, uh, yeah. So um, I have them separated out. Here's my mint, cilantro, culantro, shallots, limes, uh, rice powder, a chili, green onion, and my lettuce is also ready on the side. And I also have my fish sauce ready, uh, you know, nearby. And my ground meat is what's gonna be next. Everybody, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you know, just get your, your pan or skillet or whatever you want ready. Um, you're gonna wanna turn the heat up. Um, and like I mentioned before, if you're gonna cook uh, more servings, I would recommend you guys to split it into two batches because if you just put everything in, uh, you might end up kind of boiling your, your food instead of kind of like frying it a little bit. So um, yeah, and if you have a fattier, uh, you know, type of meat, like I'm using ground pork, which is pretty fatty, so I don't need to add any oil. But if you're using a leaner type of meat or tofu, you know, just put a little bit of oil on it. So we basically want our skillet to be like really hot. And once it's hot, we're going to add our meat in. One more thing is, so what we're basically going to do is we're going to cook our meat. And then uh, the reason why I had all our ingredients uh, prepped um, is because uh, basically after we're done cooking the meat, we just put everything together and then uh, we're done. So that's why I had the grease on the side ready to go. Um, yeah. And is it nine ounces of meat? Is that what? Yeah, that's the official okay. uh, recipe. You know, you can eyeball it. I'm eyeballing it. <laughs> okay. So once your pan is hot enough, um, go ahead and put your ground meat inside and, you know, kind of um, break it up a little bit. Don't worry about adding any, uh, unless you're not using the fish sauce, don't worry about adding any salt. Um, most of the salt is going to be coming from the fish sauce. So once you're breaking it up, you know, just move it around a little bit, stirring occasionally. You want to make sure it's cooked all the way through. 
So if we're not using the fish sauce, so we should we put in salt uh, now? Um, you can add it now, yeah, or yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. The so mine. Oh, sorry. Go on. I was just saying, if we're doubling it, you recommend cooking the two meat batches separately. Yeah, I mean, it depends on you know your stove and stuff like that, but I do recommend breaking it into two batches. Okay, thanks. So my meat is still cooking a little bit, but if yours is already done, go ahead and take it out and put it into your mixing bowl. Wait, like if it's fully cooked or like halfway, are we gonna put it back on the pan or? Um, no, no, no. So make sure it's fully cooked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. And my preference is to make sure that it's like kind of nice and crispy, but you know, you guys do you, right? Okay. All right, so mine's ready. So I'm gonna put mine in my mixing bowl. Do you add anything to the meat while it's cooking? No, just by itself. If you don't okay. want to use if you don't want to use the fish sauce, I do recommend adding your salt or whatever you are want now though. Okay. Wait, you add the fish sauce in the mixing bowl, not in the pan? Um for right now we're just putting uh, our meat inside, but yeah, we'll be adding the fish sauce in a bit. So my meat's pretty fatty, so I'm just straining a little bit of the, the fat out so it's not too overwhelming. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so once you have it in your bowl, um, start adding your shallots in there. So one thing is um, you guys may have gotten different size shallots. Um, so I would recommend um, if you guys aren't sure to measure it because you don't want to put the whole, you don't want to put everything that I gave you in, right? That, because the portions are all different for everybody. So add some of your shallots in, break up the rings a little bit, and then you want to mix it into um, the meat. And what that's going to do is that's going to, like the residual heat is going to help cook and wilt the shallots. So you want to add it, the shallots in, break up the rings, and kind of uh, mix it in there. Cool, once you have the shallots in there, um, you know, let it wilt for a little bit, but if it looks like it's starting to, you know, it only needs to be in there for a couple of seconds or something like that. And then I'm gonna add some of my fish sauce. Again, I, get, I try to give you guys uh, either exactly or a little bit more than you guys need. So I do recommend you guys measuring it out. And um, also if you guys, um, I also recommend putting a little less than what you think you'll need because you can always adjust the taste um, afterwards. So you want to add about two tablespoons of fish sauce. All right, mix it in there. The next thing we're going to add is the lime juice. About two tablespoons as well. Again, if you're uh, feel free to add a little less and adjust for uh, to your own pre personal preference later. You know, some people don't like it too sour. Some people do so. All right, cool. Once you have the fish sauce and the lime juice added, just you know, stir it a little bit, and then we're gonna add um, our we're gonna add our herbs next. So just you know, uh, I believe it's a quarter cup mint, but you know, feel free to add um, however much you like. I'm gonna add some of my cilantro, and then I'm gonna add some of my culantro. So if you're like me, you should have quite a bit left over actually, so. <laughs> you're doing like a like a brief pinch of each one? So, the, so uh, let me double check. Um, so you want two tablespoons of cilantro, okay. but, but you know, I eyeball it, but yeah. I would stick to the recipe if you're, if you're a little bit worried. Um, sure. You want about uh, a quarter cup of your spearmint. You want, two tablespoons of your cilantro, and you want 
uh, about one tablespoon of your green onion. Again, you want to mix it in. Cool. Once you've added your herbs, what we're going to do next is we're going to sprinkle some of the toasted rice powder in. So I would just, you know, sprinkle some on. Again, go easy first, but if you, you know, once you taste it a little bit, um, if you like it, add some more, but, you know, go, go easy first. And um, I like mine a little spicy, so I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, chili flakes in here. Feel free to leave that out if you don't like spicy. And you know, just give it another quick stir. All right. So, you know, um, I'm gonna take a little bit of taste of what I, you know, uh, of it. And I'm gonna see if I need to add anything uh, extra. Cool, I think uh, mine's pretty fine. So, but you know, once you've set, you know, mixed everything, if you think it's not salty enough, feel free to add a little bit more fish sauce or, or salt or whatever you like. If you don't think there's enough herbs, feel free to sprinkle some more on. Um, you know, if you like more of the toasted rice powder flavor, again, you know, just add whatever you think it needs. So once you have everything mixed, um, you know, you can eat it straight from the mixing. Oh, uh, sorry. This, okay, cool. Um, yeah, so, you know, I'm gonna, you don't need to plate it, but I'm gonna plate mine. Um, you know, I'm gonna put it on my plate. I'm gonna add a couple of my lettuces on the side. Um, and I can show you guys how to wrap it later, but um, let me just put it, plate it first. Yeah, if you guys are also, if you guys are like way ahead of the curve and you guys are already done, you know, feel free to, you know, start eating and, you know, eat with your roommates or family and you don't need to stick around. I'm just gonna show how to plate this. Um, I'm gonna stay around for it if anybody has any lingering questions. Um, so yeah. So once it's done, it should just look something like this. Um, you know, it's just salad, uh, lettuce on the side. I have the, the meat salad uh, next to it. And uh, how you eat it is, you know, I, the way I like to eat it is I like to just, you know, scoop some into the lettuce, wrap it up, and, you know, just eat it like any wrap. You know, I have, actually have some pretty janky leaves. I'm not going to lie. So it's going to be a little weird, but, um, you know, you can use uh, either, you know, kind of leafy stuff or even iceberg. Iceberg, you know, it's, instead of a wrap, it's more like a lettuce cup. Um, but, you know, you just add a little bit. Um, I actually like to add, well, I have, a, I have a big ass leaf, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. But, you know, you kind of just wrap it. Um, I wrap the bottom part. I leave the, the top, you can wrap it over. Mine has a weird hole, so maybe mine's not the best example. But, you know, you can wrap it like a burrito. You can wrap it like a hand roll. Um, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not the best at wrapping. I usually just eat this over a plate. So whatever falls out, falls out, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's not the prettiest wrap, but it's stuff's not falling out. And, you know, you just take a bite into it. Yeah. If it, if it, if anybody thinks it tastes nasty, let me know, because then I'll, I'll, I'll have to change up the recipe. <laughs> Is there any variations, you know, like extra ingredients? Yeah. So, okay. Here's a, a few things that I like to try. So, um, you know, essentially what you're doing is just kind of making a meat salad, right? So you can change out, you know, you can change out any of the herbs, you know, these, the herbs that I used are kind of more like Southeast Asian, but you know, you can use like parsley, you can use, you know, different types of herbs and chili. So you can just make it your own. Um, another thing I like to do is, um, you know, I like this dish because it's kind of healthy, but if you actually think about it, there's that, there's not that much vegetables in it. It's just a leaf and some herbs. So, you know, if you guys want to make it like healthier, uh, I like adding like either, you know, some slices of, um, you know, cucumber or slices of like, carrots and stuff like that you know just it adds a bit of crunch i mean oh yeah yeah 
Yeah, it's it's you know it's like it's like making your burrito. You can make it however you like, right? Yeah. Uh. Is this dish from a particular country? Um. So, like, I, I think it's Thai, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of similar dishes in multiple countries. So. I'm pretty sure Laos has something similar. Or some other countries have something similar, but yeah, this is a Thai recipe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's delicious. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna sign off too. All right. See you later. Okay. Bye. Thank you, Thomas. It was great. Awesome.